Hello, I'm Pastor Emmanuel J, and I welcome you to your daily walk with God. This journey is get, just getting more interesting as the days go by. Today, I want to have a summary of all that we have said from Exodus chapter 3, verse 14, and Revelation chapter 1, verse 8, as God is revealing Himself as the I Am. So, there are seven key points that I want to just tell you in, in simple statements. The first one is that God cannot sufficiently be defined by anyone apart from Himself. So, so far, we have learned that no one can define God apart from Himself. I mean, the second thing is that God is who He says He is, and that if, if there's anything I want to leave you with in all of this is the fact that when God says that he is something, whatever he says he is, he is actually that. And the third one is that all things that exist begin with God and ends with him, yet he himself does not have a beginning nor an end. Everything that is living, that we see existing, even the non-living things, can ultimately trace their source to God because it's the living that produced the non-living. And so all things exist and have their beginning in God. Number four, God stands alone as God with no co-equal. Wow, there is absolutely no one that comes close to this our God. Number five is that God exists across all times, space and dimensions in one breath. And that is why Jesus Christ made this statement in John 8. He says, before Abraham was, I am. Actually, God exists across all time in the same breath. Number six is that there is no exhaustion in knowing who this God is. You can never come to a point and claim full knowledge of God because when you think you have known him, you realize there is more of him to know. And the seventh point is that God's nature is never changing. Although he keeps on revealing more of himself to us, he himself does not change. These are seven important truths that I pray you will carry along in your walk with him. Stay blessed and see you same time tomorrow.